Uh, I'm Kyle Brown. I'm a food and beverage photographer based out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. For the first shot we did was a beer bottle. I wanted to kind of give a just basic shot on white with just a cold kind of frosted look. For the prep for that, I always strip the rear label off uh, just so any light coming through the back of the bottle isn't blocked by that, causing a big black spot. Also for the frosted portion, uh, I used a crystal ice that you just mix with water and then a mixture of glycerin and water for the beads on the bottle. For my light setup, I used three lights. Uh, one light was behind the bottle used for giving the bottle an overall glow, but I set it behind a scrim uh, just to give some even diffusion and then used uh, second and third light. The second light was overhead in a beauty dish to give just a nice rim light on the cap. And the third light was to just evenly light the front label and I put that also behind another diffusion panel uh, just to evenly give the front label a nice glow. So the two V-flats that I used in the back, uh, I got from V-flat World, and they're really great because they're, first of all, really easy to transport. They're easy to put away. They pack up really small, so they don't take up a lot of space. Um, and for the shot with a beer bottle, the big thing was I have a black side, and I can slide them in easily on either side of the bottle to really give a good, defined black line down each edge of the bottle. For the second shot, we did a plate of food. A local chef from Dallas and Jane brought that in for us. Um, the setup for that was just one light kind of backlit, basically, uh, with a V-flat on the opposite side of the light for fill. The light that I used was just a, a large Octabox uh, to give a soft, uh, a soft light. That was camera left, and then the V-flat came in for fill at the bottom on camera right. I used the V-flat because it was, again, easy to slide in there. I can control how much fill I'm getting by just sliding it in and out versus maybe having to mess with another light again would just might overcomplicate it. Just throwing in a bounce is a lot easier, uh, so the V-flat really helps save time. The setup process was pretty simple. We started off just with the plate in the camera. Uh, and then slowly added in some other things like a napkin, a fork, and a knife, and a cutting board to just give it more of a lifestyle, storytelling type look so it wasn't just the plate of scallops. For the final shot, we did some overhead cosmetic looks. Uh, these were really going to be more of a hard light kind of look. So. For this, I used just a single light source with a reflector on it just to give a nice, hard, uh, contrasty light so we'd have some nice shadows. For the setup on this, I uh, brought in a prop stylist and we used a V-flat folded up actually on the white side as the surface. And then I brought in two more V-flats also on the white side just to have a little bit less harsh fall off to help control the vignetting from the, just the heavy shadows that we were getting. More or less just a giant light box is what we built. I was able to control everything because again, the V-flats are easy to slide in and out. Uh, it gives a nice white surface to shoot on. And overall, uh, the shoot went really well. I'm happy with how everything came out and uh, it was made super easy by having the uh, V-flats. So if you want to check out any more of my work, just head over to Instagram. Uh, my handle is at Kyle Brown Photo.